we can't do it or can or can or whatever, but you, you know, you're the, yeah. you, you've done all the work to, to this. Or answering if it's possible, it's possible to look at moving it. We've made a lot of marketing and the date is out there with the location. I will say that with advertisements, it's been in Union County Weekly for several weeks. It's been in other forms of advertisements that we do. It was not put at Chestnut this year with the intent of trying to grow. I mean, I have not been here for the length of when the event took place. The last time we had the event, it was on Blake Drive, and it was a good size event, but in the past, from what I've heard from others and from staff that were here, that the main road was, was packed with people, and that was the intent, to kind of have a similar feel to what someone mentioned about Matthews and having the downtown scene just be booming with people. And that was the, the event, trying to be downtown of that was the point for that. One of the reasons why we didn't do it at Crooked or had it planned for Crooked was that we have a tournament that's booked there and that contract is put in place a year <coughs> for the tournament. So we'd be breaching our contract with a tournament provider and breaking that and we didn't want to go that direction. So like I said, the, the other format of option would be the downtown of Indian Trail Road, which was we decided to do. Can, can we not um, maybe just stop at that intersection or, or, yeah. or by, by the train tracks? That way there is accessibility to Johnny K's and the hardware store and have it from here going forward. Yeah, I mean, the, the plan right now, and I can, if he wants to speak as well, I mean, the plan is to stop at the road so you still have full access to Matthews Indian Trail Road and the other side of Indian Trail Road. So no one would have would be getting shut down from getting to the hardware store or Johnny Case. That's a full mile detour. Here, here's the here's the problem from our standpoint. I think Lamar probably piggybacks off of our concern on this. There's not a real good way to shut down Indian Trail Road because you've got to do it and leave accessibility or, or detours. So even if I move even if we move the event back away from the businesses down here we're still getting the traffic flow is not going to be able to get to them because they've got to take South Fork or they've got to take River Road and go around the block. So accessibility to to the business is going to be there, but it's going to be the detour that I think that Lamar is saying that he doesn't feel like that they'll go to that length to take. So if somebody's going to drive Waxhaw Indian Trail Road up and turn and go around the block, then the concern from the business owner would be when they're driving right by Lowe's and they're driving right by other stores to stop and get the stuff at them. So anything on the roadway out here for us, it really doesn't matter if you're, if you're just closing down 10 feet of it, if you're closing down 100 feet of it, we're going to have barricades up that will be up at, at the uh, Gribble Road intersection in Rock, in Rock Church. The main concern is turning commercial motor vehicles because if they get past that point, then they can't navigate, we can't navigate commercial motor vehicles down down the trail back here and around here because of the height restrictions in the same way on Park Drive. So it's it's kind of like if, if you're going to close it anywhere, you're still going to probably impact the businesses from there. But we'll do whatever. We'll just, we'll just do whatever. <laughs> 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 tell us to do. We're, we're not, I'm not going to take any of the Saturday, June 3rd. One thing I would like to add to to clarify with you, when this was discussed a few months back and it was on the consent agenda, we did research and could not find any meeting that was voted on to close it. And that's and I forwarded that to the town and town manager to have everyone the exact vote, the exact minutes, and the exact time. Um, I, I'm Jason, no fault to you. You weren't here. That's, yeah. uh, council, I'm just really not happy with the way this was handled. Um, that's as untransparent as you can be. We may not be able to do anything for this year, uh, but moving forward, I understand the park and the tournaments are important. But the town, pay, town taxpayers pay for that park. So if we're going to pick a date for Family Fun Day next year, I think you should block that day off from any tournaments and let the taxpayer enjoy their park and stop impacting businesses. We are not Matthews. We are Indian Trail. We're never going to be Matthews. We're never going to be Stallings. We're never going to be Monroe or Charlotte. We are a small town. And our park needs to be used for what it's intended to be. And if it's going to be June 3rd or June 4th next year, block that date off. And my suggestion is have family one day at Crooked Creek and start using parks where they intended to. And people went out and voted for it. And 
Let's do our research the right way. If we're going to be transparent, let's do it the right way. This was just done wrong. And it was voted on. And it was sent to the town manager, and everybody just went around it. Oh, maybe it's a few years later. My idea is maybe it's a few years later. Let's just see you get back in there. Uh, I don't think that was your intent. You weren't here. But that's just my feeling about it. And everybody can disagree with it. Uh, I promoted a park that many people dragged on me for. Oh, this is what's going to happen. And the last thing in the world I want to do is tell Mr. Wyman to do it. Mr. Mayor. That's okay. He knows I said that to him already. So, just council, all I'm asking for is Lamar may not be able to help you this year. It's all planned. But um, if it is able to be moved somewhere, great. If not, just moving forward, can we just encourage our event staff to block out our events day? We don't need to always be grabbing, grabbing money from outside sources. Let our residents enjoy their parks. That's why we put them there for family fun days. David? Um. Mr. Mayor, I, 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 I just want to say, you use the word transparency and, and people being transparent. I, I don't think anybody did anything. Not no, I, said, I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, let me, let me, let let me finish. Not to be transparent. I don't think anybody tried to hide anything. I don't think anybody tried to, to do anything untransparent. <laughs> no, nobody pushed the parks any harder than I did. Um, it, it, just, it just so happens that that the, the, the way of thinking, and I understand the way of thinking, is, is the one year we had it out in the street out there, uh, and I agree with you, Lamar, I, I do, but the one year we had it in the, in the street out there was tremendously successful. Uh, the next year when we didn't have it in the street, it wasn't successful. It was, it, it was a bust. So I can understand some, somebody trying to put it out there. Jason wasn't there, uh, wasn't here at that time, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't think anybody needs to be... Uh, reamed out or chewed out for, for what I think everybody was trying to do the right thing. No. And, 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 uh, right. and, and to say, you know, it wasn't transparent, I, 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 I think everything was done transparently. I think maybe the, the fact that, that, uh, that we, you didn't realize, we didn't realize the fact that, that they were closing the road and putting it there or whatever. But uh, I'm more interested in to know what, what would we be doing if we moved it to possibly contractually mess this whole thing up with other people. So does that make sense? I think that's the important yeah. question. And I'd have to go back and look at that contract for that weekend and see where we are with that. And I can get back to you tomorrow. Because, you know, no moving it, you know, maybe Maybe we can sit down as council. Councilman Savoy has some excellent ideas. Councilman Savoy, uh, it, 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 if you'll give your suggestion that you might have, or if we go to another, uh, you know, another part. I don't know. I don't know what you can do. You, you've already set it up. So yeah, my suggestion was with, when the town hall gets built, we could do it there because we'll have the street coming in around the parking lot around the building, and hopefully, eventually, we connect to Blythe and you'll have all of life to the Indian Trail yep. Town Hall. So I think that would be a great facility for something like that going future. forward. And my intent wasn't here to have a debate over what we're going to do in the future. If we can put an agenda item in the near future on years and moving forward to avoid blocking off Indian Trail Road and hurting Lamar. Um, I have one question. Just, just my clarification. Said there was no granicus or minutes uh, voting that um, the Senate agenda in. Did you get find any granicus or no minutes voting? No, no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I want to make sure we're being 100% transparent. We are. I didn't mean to play. No, no, no. We are talking about Family Fun Day right now. Today. There's three events planned for Indian Trail Road this year. That left this year. So there's a total. There was a total of four. One got canceled, which leaves three. That's Family Fun Day. That's Fourth of July Parade, and that's the Christmas Parade. Just so everybody knows, yes, this is one event that we're talking about today. But I don't want somebody to come back later and say we didn't talk about the other. Well, two I never argued that the parades. Okay. Well, I do on Saturdays because the Christmas Parade is on Sunday traditionally, and two by four. Pretty much everybody's close. It's not a problem. I just wanted everybody to know we, 
Yeah, because we're talking about one of them. I don't, wanna... day, or I don't want this to be up here again for the fall festival. <coughs> so, okay, so. In, in the meantime, check and see if you can yep. to see what we can do to move it. And, 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 and Lamar, this is, that I guess we're not saying we're going to move it, but let's see what we can do to move it. And maybe the last time, and I know, I, I, I know that's not what you want to hear, but I'd rather be transparent with you uh, and, and, and let you know exactly what, and in, in, in all possibility, let's let's work the best we can to find a new place to put it. We will meet tomorrow at 9 a.m. There you go. I think that's all you can ask for is meet and let's try to, let's try to fix it. Because I, I think everybody understands your dilemma. Well, it, it's just frustrating to me. Just just so the council knows where I'm coming from, you know, I, I voice an objection. I'm worried. Can I go to the microphone? Well, Lamar, we're familiar you. with the objection. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I ask for a chance to be heard. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. That brings us to the U.S. Highway 74 multi-use trail funds.